Louisiana Beer Reviews, the brewery Saison de Lent. This was sent to me a few weeks ago by the brewery. Uh, Benjamin Weiss at the brewery asked me if I would like to get some beers from them to review. And I said, well, sure. I'm going to give them a fair review, though. I'm not just going to say wonderful things because you send them. Oh, he said, no, no. Uh, we'll send them. Just uh, tell us, tell the people what you think. So I said, okay. <coughs> and I've already done the sour and sour in the rye, which was great. The mischief, which I thought was really fantastic, and now the say on to Lent. But I wanted to wait till today because today's Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent, so I figured it'd be appropriate. So let's see what what this beer is about. Um, it's. Um, 6.5% alcohol, 35 international bitterness units. Gets a 90 on Beer Advocate. Brothers haven't looked at it. 97 out of 100 on Rape Beer and a 96 out of 100 for the style. So the, the scores are good. So give it an honest. Ooh, look at all that smoke. An honest beer review. Um, well, that is a. I always, I don't always, but I typically pour straight in, and some people will say, Why do you do that? Um, you're getting too much foam, but actually, many brewers will say get a lot of foam because it releases esters and it um, actually enhances the drinking experience. Plus, I'm not at a bar on draft, and I'm not going to get cheated out of any beer. This uh, bottle is going to be the same amount, right? So it's a big bottle, about 25-ounce bottle. So a thick, white head. Um, looks really nice, and it's a clear, golden appearance. Some haze in it, for sure, and uh, a lot of streaming bubbles. Um, <clears throat> They didn't really give an ingredients list. Uh, they just basically said on their site it's really good. <laughs> it's sold for in, during the springtime. It's still winter, though, but <clears throat> it's a rich, pungent, <clears throat> full aroma. <sighs> you can smell that bread, that wild yeast. Uh, it's just bready. It's like that like other saisons, it's that spice bread. If you've had spicy, yeasty bread, it just has that thing going, and it's sweet. It's very sweet in the aroma. It smells great, so it's an A in the in the aroma, but the taste is where it counts. So let's go with the flavor. I noticed they have some beers from the brewery now down at um. Whole Foods Market, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, it's really spicy, sweet, bready. There's some like cr cracker, yeah, um, but like an unsalted saltine cracker without the salt. Up. Uh, it's um, certainly that wild yeast that's so in. So characterizes the style. It's 35 IBUs, and that bitterness is showing up, but it's really pleasant. It comes in there and it balances out the sweetness and up. The mouthfeel is pretty light. Now, it's a pretty light and watery beer, and the finish is, is semi dry, it's easy going. And really, it's refreshing. So I love the Saison style anyhow, and I think they did a great job with this one. And I know they make so many different beers, but I've only tried this to be the third one. So see how it goes with this spinach salad with blue cheese dressing. It's nice. Um... How would I rate this? Um, 
it's so spicy and good. It's it's a solid A. This is an A beer. It's most excellent. If you see it, buy it and try it. I'm almost certain you'll like it. Presuming you like the style. It's really a mellow, laid-back beer. So, Laissez Les, -les Bon Temps Roulé, our most excellent beer from the brewery in California. And thank you once again, Benjamin Weiss, for sending sending these three beers to me. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans. Go to a UNO baseball game.